Two families in Enfield have been serving up some scares in return for food donations these past few years. It's called Terror on Sun Street, and it benefits the Enfield Food Shelf. Channel 3's Eva Zamaris joins us. She's live at one of the displays and has a closer look at how you can help. Good morning, Eva. Well, good morning to you both. You can see how awesome and elaborate one of these displays are. These two families are hoping that you not only come in out here on Halloween to have some fun, but also make a donation for a good cause. When you're driving down Sun Street in Enfield, you can't help but notice Al Thibodeau's Halloween display. It's something he started doing more than two decades ago. So I have people that came when they were little kids. Now their kids are coming. So it's pretty, it's pretty neat. A little further down the road, you'll see Joanne LaRock's house. You go inside a tent in the front of her family's home. There you'll find aliens, skulls, spiders, and spooky scenes. They've teamed up for what's now called Terror on Sun Street. Admission is a, a non-perishable food item for the Enfield Food Shelf. And last year we did very well. We did 2,200 pounds of food. They say donations have been slower this year. Both the Thibodeaux and the LaRocks are hoping to collect the same amount of food, if not more. Well, coming up in our next half hour, you'll be hearing from Enfield's police chief. He tells us what you should know if you're planning on coming out and going trick or treating with your family tonight. Live in Enfield, I'm Eva Zamaris, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.